Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Project Sword video. In this video, I'm going to be going over which is better, the Valorar set or the Polar set, since I have so much people asking me every stream I do and in my comments, which should I go Polar side, the Valorar side, Polar fans, the Valorar fans. So in this video, I'm going to be comparing them to you and telling you which one that you should go. If you find this video helpful, make sure you do like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 20,000 subscribers, but yeah, enjoy the video. Alright, so there are a couple different things between the Polar set and the Valor set. The mainly, the thing, the big difference, if I search up Scyther, I do have uh, both Scythes. If you search up Scyther, Scythe has Essence and uh, the Valor has Blood. Now, these are the main things about these Scythes because what they do pretty much is they are required to upgrade them. So, you need 10,000 Blood to upgrade the Valor weapon and you need 1,000 Essence to upgrade the um, Polar weapon. And pretty much, I like to base it off which one is easier to get and that is the weapon that you should probably get because between the stats, the two weapons are not that not that different. The only thing that they give that is different is they do have a different passive which at tier 3, the, um, the Devourer set has a passive called devour i'm pretty sure or is it it might like believe something uh and polar has this passive called frostbite now i did hear from people that frostbite what it does is when you hit people it might stun them that is what i did hear um that could be wrong and devour um i've heard i've heard two different things i remember i have not confirmed any of this but i've heard two th different things about the devour scythe that when you hit them it life steals and that is what devour is and, and i've also heard that it just bleeds it's one of those it might be both of them honestly but pretty much those are you the only differences between the Devourer Scythe and the Polar Katana is that they have different passives. So I'm not going to really consider that when I say which one's better. I'm going to consider which one is easier to upgrade and get max first, so you can do the most damage. But when you upgrade them, they, you get you do get increased M1 damage. But yeah, pretty much I think the easier one to upgrade is going to be the Polar one because if you don't know the Polar one, what you need to do is you do need to sniff a thousand Flower Lilies, which does sound which does sound very hard at first and does sound harder than getting ten thousand kills which is what you need to do for the devour thing but i do have an explanation for that as you see here i i do have two essence and you do need 1000 but the thing is with polar is that it is very easy to get the thousand if you do do it right as you can see if i go to the encyclopedia here if i i'm at the polar bottom if you see here it has a 30 percent essence multiplier if i go to the shirt it has another 50 percent essence multiplier and if i go to the mask it has another let's see where is that 20% essence multiplier so it is a hundred percent essence multiplier total which means if you do consume one spider lily you will get two essence and that is already insane considering how easy the pull set is to get compared to the devourer set which is a very rare job so you honestly won't be able to get that like for me i only have the mask after playing for so long i don't have the top or the bottom yet but pretty much there is another way to even further increase the, the polar gain if you buy the polar let's say here while you consume your flowers you will only need 250 flowers total to upgrade it and that is way better than the scythe where you do need 10,000 kills. You can have barely any upgrades unless you do have the full devourer set, which is very unlikely because it is valued very high and very rare to get. So honestly, you're probably not going to get the devourer set. And the thing about buying the devourer elixir is that uh, it lasts for like 15 minutes and you're not going to be able to kill 10,000 people in 15 minutes. It, you can use it in phases as in the polar thing, you can use it once and instantly consume all flowers within the 15 minutes to upgrade it so essence is going to be way easier than blood and i think you guys should go polar i personally go into devourer just because um i've had devourer before i had polar as you see i have like zero essence on this but on this i do have um like 5,000 blood or something so i'm going to be upgrading my devourer first but yeah i do think the polar is going to be better than devourer because the polar is passive it's just better i'm pretty sure it's better that's what i've heard people say and it is way easier to upgrade i don't know about the other tiers but i know that tier one tier two is going to be easy to upgrade because essence is going to be easier than blood that is what i think i think um polo is going to be better let me know if you guys disagree in the comments let me know what you guys think and, but yeah that's gonna be it for this video which one's better polar or devourer which you guys should get honestly i think it comes down to preference to be honest like who really cares about the grind or what what it does i think it comes down to preference i think devourer looks cooler so i'm gonna use devourer but yeah that's gonna be it for the video if you thought it was helpful make sure you do like and subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one